Hello guys, welcome to this week's reading vlog. So I have to make this update kind of quick because I have to go to work. But yeah, welcome to the vlog this week. Um, I'll talk more about what's happening this week as far as plans when I get home from work tonight. So I will talk to you again. But welcome. Alright guys, so it is 10.30. I am back from work and let's go over what this week is going to look like because there's a lot of stuff going on. So let's start off with work and school. I didn't have school on Monday, as I talked about in last week's reading vlog, because it was uh, Columbus Day, and I was in Maine for a wedding, which happened last Sunday. So that was all in last week's reading vlog, which I'll have linked in the cards. Um, so that's what happened. And I would have probably have been working that day, so that didn't happen either. Uh, today, I had work from 3 to close, and our closing time is about 10 o'clock. So, like I just said, I just got home from that. Tomorrow, I have class from 2 to, like, 7 o'clock at night. Uh, but I'll be there for the first few hours, like, from, like, 11 to 7 because I'll be hanging out with my best friend, Heather. And then Friday or Thursday, I don't have anything going on. But I have plans to read that day. A lot of reading is going to get done that day. And then Friday, I work from 6 to close. And then I also work on Saturday from 2 to close. So that is what work and school look like this week. Other plans for this week. I would love to start outlining my project for NaNoWriMo this week. The problem is I don't know which project I want to do. I have two in mind. The first one is my project from last year, which I want to revisit and restart the entire thing because it's a hot mess. And the other is a contemporary project that I have been thinking about since summer. So those are kind of up in the air. I'm going to start outlining both of them and see which one will fit NaNoWriMo better this year. I like, I love the book I was writing last year, even though it is a hot mess, uh, but I never really fully finished it. So I would like to revisit that, but I feel like a contemporary would be better to do in 30 days and write 50,000 words of. I'm not sure. If you guys have done NaNoWriMo before, let me know in the comments down below what your tips are because I would love to know. Even though I won the entire thing last year, I'm always looking for advice on writing. So I would like to start doing that this week. I also have a lot of homework for class as per usual. And then I'm doing a group buddy read with my friend Lisa over at Books and Smiles and my friend Jen T over at Jen Talks Audiobooks as well as a bunch of other fabulous ladies. I will link both Lisa and Jen's channels down below. And that is for A Spark of Light by Jodi Picoult. And I'm supposed to be 50% of the way done with it by today. And the Buddy Reads ends on Thursday. However, I, in my typical reading slump stuff, have put off reading all my chapters for the past couple of days. I'm only 6% of, of the way through it. So I need to catch up. And on top of all this, this is going to head into next week, I decided that I'm going to participate in Spookathon this week. Or in this, this upcoming week, I should say. Yeah. Why am I doing this to myself? I have like nine books that over 500 pages on my TBR for this month. So, uh, good lord help me. And in case so you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Jackie. I've been in a reading slow for the past four months. I can't get out of it and I have ridiculously long books on my TBR. Help. <laughs> so, Yeah. That is pretty much everything that's happening. Spookathon was a kind of a last second decision. I was thinking about participating in it at the beginning of the month because everybody's participating in it this year. And I love Books and Lala who runs the readathon. So, uh, I don't know, guys. I am putting so much pressure on myself. But I think if I do this readathon next week, it will get me out of my reading slump. I'm hoping because, let's see, I have two fantasy books and the rest are thrillers and one is a Stephen King. So we'll see how that goes. But again, I'll talk more about that at the end of the week and just in next week's read book. So anyways, that is it for right now, probably for the night because I don't have any reading plans for the rest of the night. I probably will read some of my buddy read book on my Kindle, but I don't have anything else to talk about. So I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, happy Friday. That's what day it is. So it has been a couple days since I last vlogged, but I don't have much to update on. I did finish a book and I will talk about that in a second. But since Tuesday when I last checked in, 
Wednesday I was at school all day, so I really didn't have time to vlog. Period. And yesterday I ended up doing pretty much nothing except for working out and working because I got called in later that afternoon. And that's really it. But like I said, I did finish a book and that was A Spark of Light by Jodi Bacolt, which I did a buddy read with with my friend Lisa over Books and Smiles and Jen over Jen Talks Audiobooks as well as a bunch of other ladies. And I'll link both Lisa's channel and Jen's channel down below for you guys to go check out. And I ended up giving that a 3.5 out of 5 stars. I liked it, but I found the timeline of the book kind of confusing. It is adult. I would say I could... I guess you could call it a thriller. It's like a contemporary thriller and it follows a mass shooter in an abortion clinic. So it definitely challenged, you know, you kind of got to see both the sides of people who are pro-choice or pro-life and also you get perspective of the police officers who one of the officers, his daughter is actually in the clinic when this is all going on. Like I said, I found it very interesting, you know, that whole pro-life, pro-choice thing is something I've been very interested in for a couple of years now. Pretty much ever since the election happened, I've been really interested in it. Um, but, yeah, it's just the timeline, because we have, it's the timeline and the number of perspectives we had. So we had, like, four or five different perspectives, which made me not feel very connected with the characters, but I would actually really give it suggest giving it a try it's really really interesting and like I said I gave it a 3.5 out of 5 stars so now I don't have an ebook but I think I'm just gonna go ahead and pick up um, Heart of Mist which I was reading last month but I didn't finish because I still have the sequel to read to that um, with Queen of Shadows I haven't made any more progress in that speaking of Throne of Glass though so I pre-ordered Kingdom of Ash last week sometime and that is also that's going to come to my house on its uh you know publication day the 23rd of october <laughs> however i just ordered another edition of it because bloomsbury the publisher announced the special editions that are coming out and i ended up getting the barnes and noble exclusive edition and i'll show you guys what it come looks like when it comes in the mail probably I think it's going to come that same day but don't quote me on that I also ordered a hardcover version of Akatar because I don't have a hardcover version of that so those are coming in the mail hopefully sometime soon but uh yeah I just ordered the exclusive Kingdom of Ash edition because I have a problem and Sarah J Mass is my favorite author of all time so that is really all I have to update on I do work tonight at six it's currently four o'clock and I work from 6 to close, and then I'll probably come home and read the rest of the night. So that is it for it right now, you guys, and I will hopefully have an update for you guys when I get home from work. So hey, guys. Happy Saturday. It's like 11.30 at night. <laughs> it's been a crazy day. So I had work today from 2 to close, and I didn't wake up today until 12 o'clock, so... Of course I didn't, but last night I got quite a bit of reading done, so currently I'm on page 214 of Queen of Shadows, and I think, don't jinx me on this, I think I may be in the slump, because I didn't want to put this down last night, so we'll see what happens, but I really want to hit the halfway mark tonight, um, that probably won't happen, but I really do want to hit the halfway mark, because I want to have at least half of this done before spookathon starts on monday so if i can read to the halfway mark of this and finish it tomorrow i'll be good to go so that is that uh other than that there's really much not much to update on i watched a little bit of the red sox game when i came home from work we're currently losing but we can fix that but anyways that is gonna be it for tonight and i will check in with you guys tomorrow okay, so it is now monday and it's time to wrap up this week's reading vlog so this week i did manage to finish one book and that was a spark of light by jade Cole, and i ended up getting this a 3.5 out of 5 stars like i said it was a buddy read and i link lisa's channel as well as jen's channel down below for you guys to go check out if you have not already but like i said i give that a 3.5 out of 5 stars and as far as what i'm currently reading i'm still currently reading queen of shadows by sarah mass Book 4 in the Throne of Glass series, I am on page 270 of this, and I am just under halfway through, so hopefully I can finish this up 
sometime this week because it is Spookathon and I do want to get started on my TBR for that. So I will keep you guys posted on that in next week's vlog. But anyways, that is going to be it for this week's reading vlog, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to give a big thumbs up and subscribe if you have not already. I post new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Be sure to let me know in the comments down below what you guys read this week as I would love to know. And as always, all my social media links are linked down below for you guys to go check out if you would like to follow me on any of those. And with that being said, I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day and I will see you soon for another video. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye!